Tell you of a place, my son, that flows into the rise of the sun, a river that runs through me and you. As you grow to tell the tale of the mighty she and the people there that love the place that I call home. Give her, you're on the river. Give her, you're on the river. This episode of Give Around the River is brought to you by Camp Sheldrick and Tim Hortons. Thanks, guys. Hi, kids. It's very important to realize that any stunts performed during the making of this video were performed by trained professionals and should not be tried at home. Okay? Giver. Hey, kids. Give Around the River and Mighty Miramichi Productions are going to be hosting the first annual Mighty Miramichi's Biggest Loser, and we want you involved. For details, contact Chopper at MightyMiramichi.com. We'll see you there. Welcome to another episode of Give Around the River. Today we're here at beautiful Birdie Boat, New Brunswick. We're at Camp Shelter. We're going to learn a little bit about Camp Shelter and, and uh, what we do here and all the great summer programs they have. So, give her. Hi, Mayor Michi. We're here with uh, Joan McAvoy from Camp Shelter. She's, she's the Chief uh, Administrative Officer here at Camp Shelter. Um, how long have you been here at, at, at Camp Shelter? I've, this is my seventh season with Camp Shelter. Right now I'm working with a director and counselors who were campers and came through our learning uh, programs, leaders in training, became junior counselors, counselors, and now our directors. So that in itself speaks volumes for Camp Sheldrake, I would say. We have eight weeks of summer programming. Uh, they're just so excited to be here. I, you know, you just, could, you just can't describe it from morning till evening. No, the atmosphere here is absolutely electric and the kids are having a great time. And I'm glad uh, you guys put so much time in, in, into making sure that they have a, a wonderful week. Hi, Mayor Mishim. I'm here with Camp Director Julie O'Donnell. Uh, Julie, tell us a little bit about the history of Camp Shelter Care. It started back in around 2000, and a couple guys from the area decided to make a summer camp for kids in Miramichi. How many kids do you serve during, during a, like the summer months? We can hold up to 60 kids. Sometimes we have a little bit less than that, um, but we do often have a full camp of 60 kids. So, so like how long are the, uh, the sessions? The sessions are a week at a time. So we go for eight weeks through the summer with the kids. We have a week of staff training before that, at the end of June or the beginning of July, and we go for eight weeks, and we have a new group of kids every week from Sunday to Friday. So how many staff would you carry at, at, during the summer? Fifteen. This whole area used to be a farm, and that was the barn, and they've got it all fixed up to make into a dining hall. So that's where we have our meals. A lot of the times as well, if we have a rainy day, we have some activities in there. And yeah, we have our staff loft, our arts and crafts loft is in there. So So maybe uh, you should take us on a little tour of Camp Shelter. Fantastic. Let's go. Hi kids, we're here in the dining hall here at uh, Camp Shelter. Uh, Julie, tell us a little bit about what, what happens here on a, on a daily basis. Um, on a daily basis here, we have uh, three meals a day, and then we have our snack at night. So obviously it's our main dining hall. And we also, like you can see, we have some activities in here as well. So it's kind of just a great open space for that. If it's raining outside, we'll have some things to do in here. And of course, for those parents that are concerned about nutrition for their kids, you guys obviously would have a well-balanced nutritional plan here at Camp Shelter. We do. We follow the Mango Food Guide for the kids, like they do in the schools. So we do have a good nutrition plan. So. Hi, kids. We're here at the cabins here at uh, Camp Shelter. Uh, Julie, what can you tell us about the, 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 the cabins here at uh, Camp Shelter? The cabins have tw uh, six sets of bunk beds, so we can hold up to 10 kids in a cabin, and there's two counselors in each cabin every week. So we have a good ratio from for counselors to campers. So the kids stay in here at night. They're not in it much during the day, but the, uh, the cabins were actually um, donated mostly by parishes. So there's four right here in this complex, and I understand there's two more out back here somewhere. Right, we have two more cabins in the back. Hey, Mayor Rashid, behind us here at Camp Shelter is the repelling slash uh, rock climbing wall. Uh, this must be a pretty exciting attraction here at the Camp Shelter. It is. We have a lot of uh, a lot of kids who come and just look forward to going on that climbing wall. Um, a big thing about it, you'll I notice mostly uh, with the older age groups, a lot of kids these days don't have much confidence in themselves, and it seems like if you give them a goal to make it to the top or make it halfway up the climbing wall or come from the top and rappel down. It's a scary thing, it's not, it's not fun for everybody, but if they make it, you see the smile on their face and they, they love that. Down, jumper! No, I'm you're going up, up man, you're going up. too high. <laughs> <laughs> Have you all been here before? No, not all of you. I've been here 12 times. All right, so I wanna know, what's your favorite thing about camp? My favorite thing about camp is probably the atmosphere, just the way everybody treats you. It's all equal and it's just a great place. Okay, and how about you, Jeff? 
I just love like the people and the counselors especially because they're hilarious and great, great people. Like I can have such good conversations with them. And I agree with Metro, like the atmosphere. It's it's so great. Like you feel so at home here. So I'm here with Nathan Casey, aka Fender, and so Fender, how long have you been coming to Camp Sheldrake? I've been here at Camp Sheldrake since 2002. What do you think you're going to be taking away from this summer? Um, probably the amazing friendships, uh, the family that we've we've become as a staff. Trapper, we gotta go. Oh, okay, I'm right with you. Hi, Mayor Shim here with uh, John Furlong, and, and John's been here since since day one. Obviously, uh, first as a as a camper, and then as a junior counselor, and as a full counselor. Here at camp, we are all about the campers, and that's the main thing for me is the campers going home on Friday smiling, and maybe not even wanting to go home, but I know that they have to go home because the parents miss them. Yeah. I'm like I'm excited because I've never done archery before, and uh, I'm really looking forward on, on on how to do it. And you're going to show me, right? Okay. What's your first step here? The first step is you want to make sure that you're standing so that you're not square on to the target. You're only going to want to stand this way if you're right-handed. Okay. Your left hand goes on the bow, then you put one finger on top, two on the bottom. Right. You're going to pull back all the way to your mouth. Okay. You mean if I can hit the target with this arrow, you're going to let me shoot an apple off your head? Yeah, no problem. You ready That's, for that? Sounds like a pretty daring bet. I think you can handle it. I think you got what it takes. I'm pretty good at most things I try, but... Uh, some things I'm really terrible at, and hopefully archery is not one of them. Ready, Frank? Here we go. <laughs> I hit the target. You got it. <laughs> you got it. Okay, Frank, let's get the apple out of your head, buddy. Are you scared? What if I hit him? I won't hit him. Hey, I'm a pretty good shot. He's, he knows what he's doing. Get down a bit, Frank. Okay. Hold still. You ready? Here we go. Hi, Mary Machine. I'm here with Iris Sullivan. She's on the board of directors here at Camp Sheldrick. I, I, I understand that uh, the camp has some exciting news coming. Yes, we, uh, as a uh, board of directors this year, decided that we would try, actually it's been a two-year process to work towards an accreditation, and that means that we would belong to the New Brunswick Campers Association as well as the Canadian Campers Association. The uh, two people that visited our camp and looked through our policies, procedures, and our standards, and very, very uh, pleased with everything that we had and said that we were probably one of the uh, outstanding camps in the province. That gives us opportunities as well that we've not been able to uh, access previously. If there's any place to be in a beautiful day like this, it's right here in the river. Of course, uh, you may not be able to guess this by looking at me in this canoe, but this is my first time in a canoe. And uh, actually, I'm not doing too bad, right, buddy? Yeah. Just another great activity here at Camp Sheldrick. It's great for the kids. It's uh, wonderful, wonderful for uh, the counselors to actually experience teaching the kids how to canoe and uh, really teach them how to have a great time living right here in the Mammoshee doing the things we all enjoy. Being on the river and learning how to canoe and doing all sorts of great things. From Cam Shellark on the banks of the beautiful Mammoshee River, Give her! You're on the river! From the Remo crew, Give her! You're on the river! Oh, let me tell you of a place, my son, that flows into the rising sun, a river that runs through me and you. And as he grows, to tell the tale, I might see the people there that love Place that I call home. Give her, you're on the river. Give her, you're on the river.